सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं करिष्यामी सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा कृष्णाय वासुदेवाय देवकी नंदनाय चंदगोपकुमाराय गोविंदय नमो नम ओ पाथा प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबा तामुसंदधा भगवदगीते भवत्षिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुलाय तपत्र नेत्रतपूर्ण प्रज्वाल ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रेत्रकपाणे ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतादुहे नम वसुदेवसुत कंस चाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु भीष्मद्रोणतटा जयद्रतजला गांधार नीलोत्पला शल्यग्राहवती कृपेण वहनी कर्णेन वेलाकुला अश्वत्थाम विकर्ण घोरमकरा दुर्योधना वर्ति सोत्तीर्णा खलु पांडवैरण नदी कईवर्तक केशव पाराशर्यवच सरोज ममल गीताकोत्कट नाख्यान केसर हरिकथा संबोधना बोधित लोके सज्जन षटर पेपीयम मुदा भूया भारत पंकज कलीमल प्रध्वंसी न श्रेयसे मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यहां वंदे परमानंदमाधव गीताशास्त्रद पुण्यम यठे प्रयत पुमा विष्णो पदमवाप्नोति भयशोक विवर्जि गीताध्ययनशील से प्राणायाम पर नईव सी पापा पूर्वजन्म मल निर्मोचन पुंसा जलस्ना दिने दिने सकृदीतांभसी स्ना संसारमलनाशनम गीता सुगीता कर्तव्या किमस्त्र विस्तर या स्वय पद्मनाभ से मुख पद्मास्रिता भारतामृत सर्वस्व विष्णोर्वक्रादिस्रित गीता गंगोदक पीवा पुनर्जन्म विद्यते सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपालनंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत् एक शास्त्र देवकीपुत्र गीतमेको देवो देवकीपुत्र एको मंत्रस्त कर्माप्येक तस्वीर सेवा शांताकार भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्णम शुभांगं 
लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिभ्यानगम्य वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमुत स्तुन्वती दिव्य स्तव वेद सांगपदक्रमोपनिषदर्गायतीमगावस्थितगतेन मनसा पश्यती यं योगिन यं विदु सुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम So um, again, very sorry about it. I was waiting in the wrong window, and I was wondering what happened. Not even one person was there. That's okay. okay. So we were doing uh, Dvitiya Vibhakti. So anybody remembers the rules of Dvitiya Vibhakti when we use Dvitiya Vibhakti? We discussed a few rules last week. when do we use when do we use dvitiya vibhakti when does a word um you know when do we put a word in dvitiya vibhakti in the active voice uh, when the sentence is in the active hmm. active voice hmm when the sentence and it should ask hmm. when you ask the question what it hmm. should answer ha huh. it should uh, we should get an answer so answer. we ask a question with what we use the kriya padam like what did drama eat what did krishna read like that so when we ask a question you should say when we ask a question with the kriya padam and if we get an answer then that kriya padam will be sakarmaka kriya padam last week we discussed several concepts one is uh, sakarmak kriya padam and akarmak kriya padam we studied um, and then we also studied the rules of dvitiya vibhakti these are these two are different um, the definition of sakarmak kriya padam and akarmak kriya padam uh, is different from the rules of dvitiya vibhakti but they are related why because um, uh, a sentence which is in kartari prayoga will have um, um will have an object like the usage of object in a kartari prayoga vakya is optional but if it is there then the kriya padam should be sakarmak kriya padam otherwise there will not be any object say for example ramah pathati if i say ramah pathati ramah kim pathati pustakam pathati so pathati is sakarmaka that is how we identify that pathati kriya padam is a sakarmak kriya padam but here pustakam is the karma padam okay because the action of pathati the action of reading is being done on the book so the book becomes the object of that kriya padam okay so but we can also say a sentence in kartari prayoga like ramah hasati ramah hasati so when i say hasati ramah kim hasati there is no answer for that so hasati here is a akarmak kriya padam because we do not have an object associated with it okay so here the sentence ramah hasati is also a kartari prayoga vakyam but we don't have a karma padam here why because the kriya padam that we are using is a akarmak kriya padam so that is why we don't have a kriya padam associated with that uh, sorry we don't have an karma padam associated with that kriya padam okay so when you are saying uh, when do we use dvitiya vibhakti you have to say in a kartari prayoga vakya the object of the sentence should be in dvitiya vibhakti that is how you should say if you simply say in a kartari prayoga vakya we have uh, dvitiya vibhakti um, it is the answer is not complete you are correct partially but you have to provide this extra information that a kartari prayoga vakya may or may not have karma padam but if it has a karma padam then that karma padam should be in dvitiya vibhakti that is how you should say okay and if that uh, kartari prayoga vakya has a karma padam then definitely the kriya padam of that kartari prayoga vakya will be sakarmaka kriya padam 
Why? Because it has a karma padam associated with it. That is why that kriya padam will automatically be sa karma ka kriya padam. Last week we did uh, several concepts. So, and and this already is a little uh, confusing. It can be a little confusing. So I can understand um, if you are not able to uh, see the relation between all these, which is fine. Don't worry. I will be repeating as and when we get uh, the context. So that um, listening and listening, that uh, whatever doubts you might have will be cleared. And anytime, if you have any question also, you can ask me. So last week, we discussed when, uh, when are all the times we used Vidya Vibhakti. We used the basic rule first. With every Vibhakti, there will be a basic rule. Means uh, um, the default uh, situation or a scenario where we use that Vibhakti. And then there will be other uh, times where we use that Vibhakti. But the most important one is that basic rule. That with each Vibhakti, you have to remember. With the Shashti Vibhakti, the relation. Right? Relation between two people or people and uh, thing like Ramasya Griham, Ramasya Alayam. Here, Alayam is not a person, but it is a thing. But the relation between Rama and the Alayam will be Rama Alayam. So, Dasharathasya Putraha, Ramaha. Relation between Dasharatha and Rama is shown with Shashti Vibhakti. Um, so, like that. And then what you possess also, we indicate using Shashti Vibhakti. Ramasya Dvau Putra. Rama has two kids. So, for Shashti Vibhakti, when somebody asks, when do you use Shashti Vibhakti? Or why do you use Shashti Vibhakti? To represent what? To represent the relation between two words or two things or two people. And to also show the position of something. Okay? It can be of a person, of a thing also. So, that is how you tell about Shashti Vibhakti. That is the basic rule. Now, there are other places where Shashti Vibhakti can be used. That will come later. With the, Of course, we have studied Shashti Vibhakti and all the things. But for with every Vibhakti, you keep in mind at least one basic rule where we use that. The others also, as we are working, you learn. But the basic one, you should be able to identify which is the basic rule. The most commonly, when I say basic what I mean is the most commonly used place uh, where, where that vibhakti use, is used most commonly. Okay. And primarily, that is the primary usage of that vibhakti, like that. With um, saptami vibhakti, adhikaranam, right? Kala adhikaranam, desha adhikaranam, vishaya adhikaranam. That is where we use saptami vibhakti. Mostly we use here only. There are very rarely used in other cases, but this is again, vishaya adhikaranam is. Uh, less often used. The more commonly used is Deshadhikaranam and Kaladhikaranam. Um, and then coming to Dvitiya Vibhakti, similarly, whenever you hear the word Dvitiya Vibhakti, what should come to your mind is the Karma Padam. This is the primary usage where you see Dvitiya Vibhakti. There are other places where you use Dvitiya Vibhakti. We will come to that soon. But whenever Dvitiya Vibhakti comes to your mind, the Karma Padam. In a Kartari Prayoga Vakya. Okay. Um, and what is a Kartari Prayoga Vakya? A sentence can be in three forms. One is active voice, passive voice, impersonal voice. Active voice is called Kartari Prayoga in Sanskritam. Passive voice is called Karmani Prayoga. And then impersonal voice is called Bhave Prayoga. So Kartari Prayoga. When a sentence is in Kartari Prayoga, um, the uh, object... Subject and Kriyapadam will definitely be there. These two are uh, the basic elements of a Kartari Prayoga Vakya. Ramaha Patati, um, then Gopalaha Palayati, uh, Balakaha Likhati, Balika Gayati. So the Kartripadam and Kriyapadam you need. These are the building blocks of a Kartari Prayoga Vakya. The object of a sentence is optional. So it is not compulsory that you mention the object. But if you use the object, if you use or mention the object, it has to be in Dvitiya Vibhakti. So when I ask you what are the rules of Kartari, uh, what are the rules of Dvitiya Vibhakti, you have to, three rules you have to mention. One, um, uh, no, actually, if I say what are the rules of a Kartari Prayoga, 
when when do you say that a kartari prayoga um, uh, what are the rules of uh, the kriya pa, of the karma padam in a kartari prayoga vakya so the sentence has to be in kartari prayoga the object of a sentence is optional but if it is there it has to be in dvitiya vibhag so these are the two main rules of a kartari prayoga vakya and in kartari prayoga the kriya padam follows the kartri padam okay so one is in a kartari prayoga vakya the object of a sentence the object is optional but if it is there it has to be in dvitiya vibhakti and the third rule is and the third rule is the kriya padam follows the kartri padam okay this is related to the kartari prayoga vakya the rules of kartari prayoga vakya rule of dvitiya vibhakti is the karma padam of a kartari prayoga vakya will always be in dvitiya vibhakti so when i say when do you use dvitiya vibhakti you have to say the karma padam of a kartari prayoga vakya should be in dvitiya vibhakti it is not mandatory to have the karma padam in a kartari prayoga vakya but if it is there it has to be in dvitiya vibhakti so ramah padhati ramah kim padhati ramah shlokam padhati shlokah is prathama vibhakti ekavachana roopam is shlokah but you are you have to put it in dvitiya vibhakti so ramah shlokam padhati katha aakaranta strilinga shabdam ramah kathaam padhati so katha is prathama vibhakti ekavachana but in a, uh, in this sentence when we use katha becomes the object because kaam padhati kathaam padhati what is rama reading he is reading the story so here katha became the object of the sentence so we have to put it in dvitiya vibhakti kathaam padhati okay so say for example we have to use the same katha in shashti vibhakti what will be the scenario kathayaha nama uh, ka or kim nama is a napumsaka linga shabda so nama kim what name what name are you asking about the story's name what is the name of the story name of the story kathayaha so that is where the katha is used in shashti vibhakti okay because you are asking the name of the story that is possessive that is a relation between the name and the story the, the, the this name belongs to this story so that that is the kind of relation so you put katha in um uh, shashti vibhakti now we we will uh, if you want to use katha in saptami vibhakti you have to show the adhikaranam katha yam right uh, sita shabdah so sitayam in saptami vibhakti kathayam shlokan santi va shlokaha santi va in the story are there also shlokas some stories might have a few shlokas right there will be a story going on and maybe there are some shlokas or kathayam uh, jantavah santi va in the story are there anything related to the animals is the story related to animals like that so kathayam so depending on the context a word will uh, be used in different vibhaktis so when is dvitiya vibhakti used when that word is used as an object in a kartari prayoga vakya then we will put that word in dvitiya vibhakti not always only when it is used as an object when it is playing the role of an object when it is playing the role of adhikaran if it is holding something then we use saptami vibhakti when it is showing the relation with something then we put it in shashti vibhakti so every word can can be used in all of these uh, vibhaktis depending on what role that word is playing or what uh, role or how it is contributing towards the meaning of that sentence so that is uh, the main purpose of the vibhaktis the vibhaktis represent what role a word is playing or contributing towards the meaning of that sentence depending on that we that is how we understand how that word is being used in that sentence so based on that we will we will be able to derive the meaning of the sentence so these are suffixes now the katha is the main part right katham the makara is a suffix this is a dvitiya vibhakti uh, ekavachana suffix right um katham and then in saptami vibhakti kathayam so yam is the suffix 
So these are all vibhakti pratyayantas. Okay, vibhakti anta also we can say. Because these antas are representing the vibhakti, which vibhakti, which vachana uh, and all. And linga also. Because say for example, in shashti vibhakti, sita becomes a sita yaha. Whereas ramaha becomes ramasya. So these uh, antas represent not only the vibhakti, the linga and the vachana also. So these are called vibhakti antas. So these vibhakti antas are used along with the words um, and they are used only with nouns, not with kriyapadani. Okay, they are used with namavachaka shaptas, uh, with the nouns, uh, to, to show the role that word is playing in that sentence. So that is the main purpose of the vibhaktis. This is the life of a meaning of a sentence, like any language. Even in other Indian languages, we are using all these vibhaktis without knowing. Why? Because we have learned them naturally. Our mother tongue especially, we have learned it naturally. So we are not aware of all the Vyakarana that we are using when we are speaking. But because now this Sanskritam is a new language and we, we are learning it uh, like uh, not through uh, listening, not with the, through the environment. So, so we have to know all the elements to put it together, to put together a sentence which is uh, grammatically correct. Okay. So, Dvitiya Vibhakti rule is the karmapadam of a kartari prayoga vakya should always be in Dvitiya Vibhakti. That is what you need to remember about Dvitiya Vibhakti. And the shabdas also we have done, right? Like Ramaha Shabda will become in Dvitiya Vibhakti Ramam, Ramau, Raman in Bahuvachanam. Sita Shabdam will be Sitam, Site, Sitaha. Akaranta, Strilinga Shabdam. Uh, will be the same in uh, Bahuvachanam, in Prathama Vibhakti Bahuvachanam and Dvitiya Vibhakti Bahuvachanam. Gauri Shabdaha. So Gaurim, Gauryau, Gaurihi in Dvitiya Vibhakti Bahuvachanam. Um, and then Vanam, Vane, Vanani, Napumsakalinga, the Prathama and Dvitiya will always be the same. So Vanam, Vane, Vanani. We have also seen other Shabdas like Ikarantas, uh, Pumlinga Shabda, like Harihi. So Harihi will become Harim, Hari, Harin, right? And uh, Ukaranta, uh, Guruhu. Guruhu will become Gurum, Guru, Gurun, right? In Dvitiya Vibhakti, these are all the Shabdas that we learned, even Rikaranta, like Pitru Shabda. So in Prathama Vibhakti, Ekavachanam, Pita. In Dvitiya Vibhakti, Pitaram, Pitarau, Pitrun, it will become. And so on. So all these we have studied last week. So this week we are. Um, we are about to study the Sarvanama Shabdas. In Dvitiya Vibhakti, what will happen? So, like how the proper nouns, Rama, Sita, Hari, Shiva, Vanam, all these are proper nouns. So, they also take all the Vibhaktis, pronounce Sarvanama Shabda, like Eshaha, Saha, Esha, Sa, Etat, Tat. And then again, Kaha, Ka, Kim. Right? The Prashnarthaka. All these also will undergo Vibhakti changes. Why? Because we don't use only the proper nouns every time. Saha, Ramaha. Tam, Pruchatu. You ask him. Every time we don't use Ramaha only. Uh, Saha, Ramaha. Ramam, Pruchatu. Ramam, Pashyatu. We don't say that. Right? The first time we mention the proper noun and later on we use the um, pronouns. So the pronouns also will undergo all these vibhakti um, changes. So we will be looking at the how um, the pronouns will change in Dvitiya Vibhakti. We have studied in um, Shashti and Saptami. Similarly, today we'll be doing in Dvitiya Vibhakti. So Eshaha will become Etam. So Eshaha Etau Ete. In Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachanam, these are the forms of Etad Shabda in Pumlinga. Eshaha Etau Ete. So in Dvitiya Vibhakti, it will become Etam Etau Etan. Like Raman Etan. This is for Pumlinga Etad Shabda. Pumlinga Tad Shabda means Saha Tau Te. So Tam Tau Tan. Only A is missing. Um, otherwise, it is the same. Etam, 
etau etan tam tau tan in uh, tad shabda in strilinga the shabda is still the same etad shabda but etad shabda is there in all lingas in pumlinga it will become eshaha in strilinga it will become esha and in napumsaka it will become etat the shabda is etad okay in napumsaka linga it will become etat the dakara will be changed into takara in prathama ekach so in strilinga esha ete etah right in dvitiya vibhakti it will become etam ete etah like sita is the same in prathama and dvitiya bahuvachanam sitah like that eta uh, esha also will be the same in bahuvachana prathama vibhakti dvitiya vibhakti it will be the same etah only and then we have um sa tad shabda tad shabda in strilinga earlier we saw in pumlinga now in strilinga so sa te tah in prathama vibhakti in dvitiya vibhakti tam te tah so only the ekvachana is changing for strilinga for akaranta strilinga in etad dortat shabda only the ekavachana dvitiya vibhakti rupam is changing the dvivachana and bahuvachana are remaining the same te tah te tah ete etah ete etah only the ekavachana form is changing esha becomes tam sa becomes sorry esha becomes etam and sa becomes tam okay that is the only difference and then we have napumsakalinga again still the shabda is etad and tad in etad the napumsakalinga shabda will be etat ete etani right uh, tat te tani in tad shabda in napumsakalinga shabda we have already uh, discussed that uh, the prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti will be the same for napumsakalinga anywhere you go so it will be the same tat te tani tat te tani dvitiya vibhakti is also the same similarly etat ete etani etat ete etan there is no difference in the napumsaka linga prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti and then uh, we have the kaha right so kaha kau ke in pumlinga this is kim shabda the shabda is called kim shabda in pumlinga this kim shabda is also there in all in the three lingas in pumlinga it will become kaha kau ke in prathama vibhakti in dvitiya vibhakti kam kau kan like tam tau tan like ramam ramau raman so here if you look at this pattern it will be easy for you to memorize in pumlinga the dvitiya vibhakti is following the same pattern um so kam kau kan right that is in pumlinga the same kim shabda in strilinga prathama vibhakti it will become ka ke ka ha okay ka ke ka ha in dvitiya vibhakti kam ke ka ha again dvivachana bahuvachana remain the same only the ekavachana will be suffixed with the makara kam kam ke ka ha okay and then we have napumsakalinga kim ke kani right in prathama vibhakti this is kim shabda in napumsakalinga kim ke kani in dvitiya vibhakti also kim ke kani there is no difference for napumsakalinga any shabda you go whether it is akaranta ikaranta ukaranta um, even in uh, halanta shabdas which we will be doing uh, in the next level there also napumsakalinga um the prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti will always be the same and from the tritiya vibhakti onwards for akaranta for certain antas it will follow the it will be exactly the same as the pumlinga shabda like say for example the vanam shabda it will be exactly the same as the ramaha shabda from tritiya vibhakti onwards similarly here etat shabda and the, the tat shabda in napumsakalinga will be exactly the same as pumlinga from tritiya vibhakti onwards okay so we have seen that we have done the shashti vibhakti right so tasya tayoho tesham in napumsakalinga also tasya tayoho tesham only the shashti vibhakti similarly saptami vibhakti tasmin tayoho 
teshu in napumsaka linga also it will be the same tasmin tayoh teshu so it will uh, the napumsaka linga shabda will follow the pumlinga shabda from trutiya vibhakti onwards prathama and dvitiya are different from the pumlinga but within the napumsaka linga the prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti will be exactly the same so now let us do a few simple sentences using these pronouns for for uh, you to understand how to use um so let us take uh, eshah okay eshah etau uh, ete this is prathama vibhakti eshah ramah this person is rama right ask him ask him a question okay so here um this eshah should be in dvitiya vibhakti because you are asking him the question that is being asked is asked being uh, done on that action of asking is being done on this person rama right so rama becomes the object so eshah rama etam pruchatu etam prashnah pruchatu prashnam pruchatu actually etam prashnam pruchatu so you ask him a question so that is how you use um dvitiya vibhakti in sarvanama shabda so um eshah ramah etam pruchatu okay that is in dvitiya vibhakti similarly saha saha gopalah tam ahvayatu call him okay so tam ahvayatu call him so saha became tam okay um that is in pumlinga and kaha let us also do the kaha kaha ramah who is rama okay okay then somebody raises their hand aham ramah okay and then okay um how do you say in uh, for, for kam ah uh, kam pruchati va so you you are asking the person next to you you ask rama for some information okay so you came there is a waiting room there are so many people sitting you don't know who rama is so kaha rama you are asking somebody will raise their hand aham rama so you are asking this next pers- person did you ask him for that information already kam pruchati va did you ask him okay in that sense the kaha becomes kam so kaha is used in prathama vibhakti kaha rama or rama kaha who is rama here okay we identified the person okay um kam pruchati va did you ask him in that sense okay or no actually uh, kam uh, kam pruchati va will be whom did you ask whom did you ask okay then ramam pruchami i will say i asked rama if you want to say did you ask him tam pruchati va it will become tam means the sahatam that one did you ask him so we know the person so we are asking specifically did you ask this person or that person so tam pruchati va but if i want to know whom did you ask so she asked somebody gathered some information and came i want to know by asking whom she got this information so kam pruchati whom did you ask aham ramam pruchami i asked rama and got this information okay so that is how you use kam kam pruchati kam pashyati whom did you see bhavati apanam gachati you went to a store tatra kam pashyati whom did you see there okay did you meet anybody kam milati whom did you meet there did you meet your friend in that sense we can use kam that is in pumlinga strilinga basically the concept will be the same only the linga is different so um so sita ka okay it is prathama vibhakti okay sa sita kam pashy uh, sorry tam pashyatu tam pashyatu look at her okay kam pashyami i did not understand whom she wants me to see so i am asking kam pashyami whom should i see tam pashyatu look at her sitam pashyatu okay whom should i ask kam pruchami 
काम ददामी और एक्चुअली वे नई से ददामी अगेन वी हैव टू यूज चतुर्थ विभक्ति सो लेट एस पुट दैट असाइड सो काम पश्यामी हुम शुड आई सी काम पृछामी हुम शुड आई आस्क काम वदामी हुम शुड आई टेल सो इन दैट सेंस इन दैट सेंस वी यूज का बिकम्स काम द्वितीया विभक्ति एंड देन एंड देन इन नपुंसकलिंग किम ओके पठतु किम पठामी व्हाट शुड आई रीड श्लोकम पठतु ओके किम पश्यामी पश्यतु ओके लुक व्हाट शुड आई लुक किम पश्यामी व्हाट शुड आई लुक एट इन दैट सेंस वी कैन यूज किम ओके सो व्हेन यू आर यूजिंग एनी ऑफ दीस थ्री इंट्रोगेटिव वर्ड्स कम काम किम कम इन पुमलिंगा काम इन स्त्रीलिंगा किम फॉर नपुंसका so if you have an idea of what you are asking about and if you know the linga of that you can use the respective linga if there are a group of girls there and you are asked to ask one of them so kam prachami because there are a group of girls you know that whomever you are going to refer to is a mahila so kam is an appropriate word um if there are a group of boys you know that the addressing has to be done pumlinga so kam prachami whom should i ask meaning in english is the same whom should i ask but the whom in english does not refer to the gender it, it, it is the same for uh, masculine and feminine but in sanskritam since we have the gender differentiation and even in the interrogative words we have that gender differentiation we use kam for masculine kam for feminine and if uh, um, kim pashyami what should i look at if it is a thing we use kim okay say for example you don't know so there is a room next door and uh, there are a group of people sitting there you don't know if they are men or women or whatever and uh, a lady asks you to go and ask the candidate okay go and ask the candidate for this information you don't know if the candidate is a boy or a girl or anything so then usually we use pumlinga if you are not sure of the linga um, of the the object then we usually use pumlinga okay because you are not aware of it if you are aware you use the right linga appropriate linga but if you don't know the general uh, rule is to use uh, the pumlinga uh, only if you know specifically if it is a stri linga then you use stri linga shabda Uh, otherwise we use pumlinga and if there is a group of people in which some men are there and some women are there then as a group when we refer to them as a group we use again pumlinga even if there is one masculine person and the rest of them are uh, women still we use pumlinga only so that is the general rules okay so we have seen the napumsaka the interrogative words usage of interrogative words also similarly in dvivachana also you can apply so um so tam prichatu right you ask him tau prichatu you ask those two here tau represents masculine so it can be two men or two boys so tau prichatu ask those two boys tau balakau prichatu if you want to be more detailed uh, about who those tau are so tau balakau prichatu okay again ajaha means goat he goat okay so tau ajau charatu graze those two goats now here you are being very specific about that the goats are masculine like that you can use it in animals also not only in uh, humans but as long as you know the gender it is fine if you don't know if you know specially that it is feminine then we use feminine gender otherwise masculine gender is fine like that similarly bahuvachanam te becomes tan tan prichatu okay tan prichatu ask them that group tan is masculine so ask that group of boys now that group can have a few girls also okay but still we use tan that is in pumlinga now when i am saying tan prichatu tau prichatu tam prichatu in all the three sentences i said prichatu only 
do any of you have any comment to make about that or any question i said the three sentences tam prichatu tau prichatu tan prichatu in the first sentence tam is in eka vachana in second sentence tau is in dvi vachana in the third sentence tan is in bahu vachana but i still said prichatu only that is in eka vachanam only i used why anyone either bhavana bhagini why why ah tell tell why means why means actually in karta um is in singular there but it is not mentioned there hmm what could be uh, the bhavan, karta here bhavan tam prachato ah very good very good excellent so here i did not mention the kartrupadam but it is implied prachato means it is in lot lakara imperative mood so i am giving uh, i am asking somebody to do something right and usually prachato it is in prathama purusha ekavachana so when do we use prathama purusha ekavachana in interrogative usually um, when uh, when we use bhavan or bhavati right if we use ramaha say for example if we say ramaha tam pruchatu then let rama ask him that is how the meaning will be if i use a prathama purusha kartrupadam like ramaha sita govindaha or whatever then the meaning will become ramaha tam prichatu will become let rama ask that person but if i say bhavan tam prichatu you may ask him okay you bhavan means you here i am directly uh, speaking to that person if i use a prathama purusha kartrupadam like ramaha sita or so on um it will become let rama ask that person we have done the imperative mood and how it means right so saha prichatu let him ask okay and so on like that um very good bhagini so such things you have to notice so sometimes the kartrupadam need not be mentioned when will it not be mentioned usually when we are directly talking to that person right um one time we will say bhavan every time we don't have to repeat bhavan prichatu bhavan pashyatu bhavan khadatu we will simply say khadatu tam prichatu even in other languages uh, ask him okay okay eat this sit here one time we will say why don't you sit here please sit here we will say mostly like that so every time the kartrupadam need not be used but it is implied through the kriyapadam okay so that is how it is okay so now is it clear or any one of you have any questions regarding um, the sarvanama shabdas and the usage of the sarvanama shabdas as uh, objects you have to work on it uh, bagini mm -hmm. okay yes yes definitely because the more practice you do the more comfortable you will get until then it will be a little little so um, that is there with everything right with any field yes. you take the more practice we do the more better and easy uh, it gets and we will start feeling more comfortable and only then we will be able to enjoy it uh, more so that as with any other thing that is there so uh, please do practice and then let us look at these sentences on page number 102 okay uh, here in the above table that um, uh, there are two tables in the beginning part of the page and here the prathama vibhakti and dvitiya vibhakti rupani of all these shabdams are given oh one thing which we forgot is uh, aham asmat shabdam and uh, yushmat shabdam uh, yushmat shabdam did they give here yeah okay so let us also look at those okay before going on with the sentences so in the first box this aham is also given after saha sa esha esha aham is given right so aham give, uh, becomes mam in dvitiya vibhakti it becomes mam avam will remain the same avam and vayam will become asman okay so mam pruchatu 
when we are in a class and if the teacher wants to ask a question ask me ask me we'll say right so mam prachatu ask me okay mam pashyatu look at me uh, and so on similarly in dvivachanam avam us both okay avam pashyatu look at us both avam prachatu ask us both okay and asman ask us as here will refer to all a group okay asman prachatu asman pashyatu and so on similarly bhavan shabdam is there right so bhavan agachatu you come and then we are saying to the next person ask him if he needs anything okay bhavantam it will become bhavantam prachatu kimapi ichchati va if he wants anything you ask him would he like to drink some water or whatever bhavantam prachatu okay bhavan becomes bhavantam bhavantau bhavatah so bhavan bhavantau uh, bhavantah in bahuvachana prathama vibhakti bahuvachana bhavantah in dvitiya vibhakti it will be bhavatah so bhavatah does it ring any bell where where else did we use bhavatah bhavatah naam kim right in the very first class we used bhavatah naam kim when we are addressing a man we we say bhavatah naam kim if we are addressing a woman bhavatyah naam kim so bhavatah we said that it is in shashti vibhakti what is your name okay bhavatah is shashti vibhakti form of bhavan now here also we are seeing bhavatah in dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachanam so the same form bhavatah is used in dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachanam as well as shashti vibhakti ekavachan so depending on the context we have to identify whether it is being used as dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachana or prathama or shashti vibhakti ekavachana depending on the context we we will identify that okay so here uh, bhavatah naam kim if i say then it will become shashti vibhakti ekavachana bhavatah prachatu ask them or uh, uh, ask uh, i will ask you all or saha bhavatah prachatu so let him ask you all he will ask you all okay in that sense so depending on the context of the sentence um, whether it is uh, shashti vibhakti or dvitiya vibhakti is determined one second okay so um so yeah depending on the context we need to identify whether it is being used as dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachana or shashti vibhakti ekavachana and then uh, we have bhavati bhavati is uh, similar to nadi ee karanta strilinga shabda so nadi nadyau nadyah in prathama vibhakti in dvitiya vibhakti nadim nadyau nadihi so here it will be the same bhavatim bhavatyau bhavatihi okay it follows the ikaranta strilinga shabda pattern and then we have yushmat shabda tvam tvam yuvam yuyam in prathama vibhakti in uh, in dvitiya vibhakti tvam yuvam yushman asman parasmat shabda yushman in yushmat shabda so yushman means you all okay aham yushman pruchami i will ask you all aham yushman pashyami i will see you all okay aham yushman shrunomi i will listen to you all in that sense we use yushman shabda okay so that is the asmad shabda bhavat shabda bhavan is bhavat takaranta shabda bhavati ikaranta ikaranta strilinga shabda and then tvam is yushmat shabda and okay? so, and then is is yushmat okay so in the second box there is another shabda given sarvaha. 
Sarvah is in Pumlinga, Sarva Strilinga, Sarvam Napumsakam. Now, this, uh, these are very similar to the Akarantha Rama Shabda, Akarantha Strilinga Shabda, and uh, Akarantha Napumsaka. Like Sarvaha, like Ramaha, Sarvam, Sarvau, Sarvan, Ramaha, Ramam, Ramau, Raman in Dvitya Vibhakti. Similarly, Sarvam, Sarvau, Sarvan. In Strilinga, Akaranta Strilinga, like Sita, 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 in Prathama Vibhakti. In Dvitya Vibhakti, Sita, Sita, Sita. So, Sarvam, Sarve, Sarvaha. It is similar to that. And Sarvam, like Vanam, Vanam, Vane, Vanani. Sarvam Sarve Sarvani. Okay? Because we have here Rakaranta, uh, Rakara, the Nakara changes to Ana. Okay? Sarvani. Okay? It becomes Ana. So these are the pronouns or the um, Sarvanama Shabda in Dvitiya Vibhakti. Okay? Now let us look at the sentences. Etani Vakyani Uchaihi Patata Pita Mahaha Tam Ahvayati. So the grandfather invited him. Tam means a saha becomes tam. The grandfather invited him. Dharma Raja Tam Vadati. Dharma Raja spoke to him. Tam Vadati. Hidimba Kamarayati. Whom did Hidimba kill? Hidimba Kamarayati. Whom did Hidimba kill? Okay, the come indicates she must have killed some male person. Come. Okay. Dharmaha asman rakshati. Asman az. Okay, dharma will protect az. Aham tani janmani janami. Okay, janmani means births. Tani janmani, those births. Aham janami, I know those births. Okay. Avam yuvam samyak jani vaha. Avam means we both. Yuvam means you both. Samyak jani vaha. We. We both know you both very well. That is the meaning of that sentence. Okay. In Dvivachana, the Asmad Shabda and Yushmad Shabda does not change. In, in Dvivachana, Dvitya Vibhakti Dvivachana. And the Prathama Vipakti Dvivachana are the same for Asmad and Yushmad Shabda. Not only there, in most Shabdas, they are the same. In Rama Shabda, it is the same. Rama only. In Sita Shabda, it is the same. Nadi Shabda also, it is the same. Mostly in the Dvitya, the Dvitya Vipakti, the Prathama and Dvitya Vipakti, Dvivachana forms will remain the same in almost all the Shabdas. Um, okay. In, in most of the Shabdas, I don't want to say in all the Shabdas, in most of the Shabdas, the Dvivachana of Prathama Vibhakti and Dvitya Vibhakti will be the same. So here Avam and Yuvam are um, in Dvivachana. So Avam, Yuvam, Samyak, Jani, Vaha. Now you tell me in which Vibhakti Avam is being used in this sentence? Sindhu? Karta, Avam. Avam is Karta. In which Vibhakti it is? Prathama Vibhakti. Ah, Prathama Vibhakti. See, Karta in a Kartari Prayoga Vakya will always be Prathama Vibhakti. Okay? So there is no doubt about it. Yuvam. Which Vibhakti Yuvam is in? Tudiya Vibhakti. Vidya. Vidya. Vidya or Trutiya? I did not understand clearly. Vidya. Second case. Ah, Dvitiya Vipatti. Yes. Yuvam is in Dvitiya Vipatti. Why? Because we both know you both. So here that knowing, that action of knowing is done on you both. That Yuvam. So Yuvam will become the Karmapadam of this Vakyam. And so it is in, we have to understand based on that context that it is in Dvitiya Vipatti. Why? Because the forms are the same. For Prathama and Dvitiya, it is Yuvam only. So how will we know if it is in Prathama or Dvitiya? What role this word is playing in this sentence? So, Avam Jani Vaha, we both know. Samyak Jani Vaha, we both know very well. Know what? Or know whom? Because here persons are there, whom? We have to use whom. If things are there, then we say, um, 
what okay so yuvam so yuvam is the karma padam so it has to be in dvitiya vibhakti that is how we derive saha mam vadati he told me or he tells me mam okay saha mam vadati esha etau janati esha janati this lady knows what does she know or whom does she know etau here etau can be pumlinga or napumsaka right in uh, no 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 not napumsaka sorry pumlinga only etau is in pumlinga only so esha etau janati so this lady knows them both etau again in prathama also it is etau in dvitiya vibhakti also it is etau why because it's, it is in dvivachana so this lady knows them both okay kripaya avam kathayatu kripaya please avam as both kathayatu okay so in which vibhakti is avam here karma karaka ha hmm avam is karma, karma. Ah, it is karma padam so it is in dvitiya vibhakti okay avam kathayatu tell us both okay so that action of telling should be done on us both avam so avam is in dvitiya vibhakti krishnaha yushman rakshatu yushman means you all so krishnaha rakshatu may krishna protect whom yushman you all okay so may krishna protect you all so yushman is uh, um, is clear because uh, only in dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachanam yushman is there so there is no confusion the minute you see yushman you will understand it is in dvitiya vibhakti so it will become the karma padam gridha uh, gridraha tan shavan khadati okay gridraha is a vulture tan shavan khadati shavan dead bodies okay so gridraha khadati the vulture eats what does it eat shavan means dead bodies tan shavan those dead bodies okay the the gridraha the vulture eats those dead bodies so shavan this is also akaranta pumlinga shabda shavaha okay it will become shavan in dvitiya vibhakti bahuvachana manavaha tam siddhim vindati manavaha okay tam siddhim vindati vindati is to obtain siddhim so siddhi is uh, ikaranta strilinga like matihi okay so siddhim in dvitiya vibhakti it will become siddhim tam siddhim now here this is sarvanama shabdas are used along with these nama vachaka shabdas right so even in english we say right look at that boy ask this girl uh, look at that picture okay so here this that like how we are using those along with the nama vachaka like that we use these the sarva nama shabdas also with nama vachaka shabdas okay so and when they are used like along with the nama vachaka shabdas the these pronouns act as adjectives to those uh, uh, nouns why why am i saying it is an adjective because it is describing or pointing it out from a group so when i say look at that boy i am specifically identifying a particular boy look at look at the boy or look at uh, some boy if i say then i am not identifying any one boy from a group right when i say when i don't use that or this then i am not identifying one person out of a group and whenever we are identifying one person out of a group or one thing out of a group of objects uh, you know whatever word i am using to 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 single it out that is that plays the role of an adjective because adjective uh, that is the main role of adjective it describes um, the noun and in that description it identifies or 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 distinguishes it from the rest okay red flower when i say red flower so i am i am pulling it out from all the flowers there are so many flowers there by saying red so i am i am identifying the group of flowers which are red in color 
so i'm separating it out i'm i'm pulling it out so that that quality is uh, that of uh, an adjectives so when i say that boy i'm pointing out to a particular boy so i'm pulling it pulling that boy out from a group so that is becomes adjective why because it is helping me identify one among many things so it plays the role of an adjective so similarly the sarvanama shabda also can play the role of an adjective sometimes in uh, in such usages okay uh, when when it is used along with the we call it in english demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective okay so here we are using uh, along with a noun whenever it is being used along with a noun it plays the role of an adjective and whenever it plays the role of an adjective it has it will take the same vibhakti vachana and linga of the noun that it is qualifying okay so when you are using it along with a stri linga shabda you have to use the stri linga sarvanama shabda only so siddhim siddhihi is ikaranta stri linga shabda so i have to pick a, the a pronoun which is also in stri linga so i can use either esha or sa depending on this or that okay whether i want to uh, th that only indicates the proximity the distance so depending on how so that manavah tam siddhim vindati so the um, uh, the human enjoys or obtains that siddhi okay so here tam is used as an uh, adjective to siddhi and then sena etan anusarati sena anusarati the army is following whom is the army following etan them or these people the army is following these people etan the proximity is close so i have to say these people if i say tan then those people the army is following those people but here etan is used so the army is following these people okay sarve etam pashyantu etam stri linga okay sa becomes etam sorry esha becomes etam so this lady okay so sarve etam pashyantu all of you sarve pashyantu all of you look what what should we look at etam this lady okay all of you look at this lady etam pashyantu ayatihi kam gatim gachati okay ayatihi is a person who is not on the spiritual path or who has fallen out of the spiritual path okay kam gatim gachati now this gati is the 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 final um, final path that we all attain right so sadgati such things so here a person who falls out of the spiritual path which gati does he does he obtain in that sense it is used kam gatim gachati what will happen to him he who falls out of this righteous path what will happen to him okay gatihi is also ikaranta strilinga shabda that is why kam is used ka kam what gati will he obtain okay kaha mama vibhutim janati here vibhuti is used in uh, the sense of like shakti or power like my capability in that sense we can take kaha mama vibhutim janati who knows my uh, power okay um so who knows kaha janati who knows what does who know mama vibhutim okay so um that is that is those sentences regarding those sentences now let us look at the next one any questions so far okay so let us continue then here we have in the sixth uh, question yathodaharanam riktasthanani purayata so saha becomes in dvitiya vibhakti tam sa becomes anyone tam 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 kau becomes 
cow cow, cow only cow. so cow remains the same cow cow in dvitiya vibhakti also cow tani 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 only napumsaka linga shabdas will remain the same in prathama and dvitiya so tani will remain tani aham becomes mam mam bhavatya becomes bhavati bhavati hmm bhavati hmm yuvam becomes yuvam only yuvam remains the same it will be yuvam only te in strilinga so see here he clearly mentioned strilinga why because te is there in pumlinga bahuvachanam also saha tau te in strilinga uh, uh, sa te ta in napumsaka also it is there tat te tani so te is there in pumlinga strilinga and napumsaka so for our clarity that strilinga is mentioned so te in strilinga what will it become in uh, dvitiya vibhakti tam te only te only will remain te only why because it is in dvivachana dvivachana usually does not change it will remain the same in prathama and dvitiya vibhakti okay then we have tvam what does it become in uh, dvitiya vibhakti tvam wow. tvam will become tvam you tvam 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 will become tvam okay esha tvam. will become etam etam uttamam uyam will become yusman wow yusman yusman then te in pumlinga te in pumlinga means prathama vibhakti bahuvachanam saha tau te in dvivachana dvitiya vibhakti what does it become tan tan hmm tam tau tan so te will become tan in dvitiya in dvitiya vibhakti okay now कोष्टकस्थां संख्यां दृष्ट्वा वाक्येषु द्वितीया विभक्तिं योजयत सो हियर सम वर्ड्स आर गिवन इन दिस बॉक्स विद सम नंबर्स सो नंबर 1 इज भवान नंबर 4 इज सर्वाणी 13 इज एताह एंड सो ऑन सो दोस नंबर्स इंडिकेट द सेंटेंस नंबर्स आई आई एम अज्यूमिंग सो वी हैव टू पुट दोस वर्ड्स इन इन दोस सेंटेंसेस indicated by the number in dvitiya vibhakti because they are the karma padams so the first example is given in sentence number 1 bhavan is given right in that box pink box so let us look at sentence 1 yuvakaha bhavantam preshayati so bhavan is in prathama vibhakti in dvitiya vibhakti bhavantam so yuvakaha bhavantam preshayati yuvakaha preshayati the young man sent or is sending what is he sending or whom is he sending okay you bhavantam preshayati he is sending you okay now the second sentence mata dash ahvayati so where is number 2 bhavati is given in the pink box you look for number 2 because we are in the second sentence bhavati is given so bhavati in dvitiya vibhakti what will it become bhavatim bhavatim so mata bhavatim ahvayati mata ahvayati mother invites whom does she invite you bhavatim ahvayati okay third sentence balakaha dash pustakani krinanti so number 3 what do we have in number 3 tani okay in the pink box look for number 3 we have tani there so tani should be put in dvitiya vibhakti in this sentence Balakaha. Tani will in in Dvitiya Vibhakti. What does it become? Stay in Tani. Stay as Tani. Ah, Tani. Tani. It will remain as Tani. So Balakaha Tani Pustakani Krinanti. The boys buy or bought those books. Tani. Those books. Okay. Are buying those books. The boys are buying those books. Kapayaha dash Phalani Khadanti. Number four. What word is given in number four? Sarvani. Sarvani. So kapaya ha. What will become to Sarvani? Sarvani. Ah, it will remain as Sarvani. So kapaya ha. 
Sarvani Palani Kadanti. Okay. The, uh, the monkeys eat all the fruits. Aham Dashna Vismarami. Fifth uh, sentence. So and, uh, with the number five, what word do we have in the pink box? Bhavantau. 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 What will it become in Dvitya Vipakti? It is Dvivachana. It is Dvivachana of Bhavan Shabda. It will remain the same. Bhavantau will remain the same. So in Dvitya Vipakti also Bhavantau. So Aham Bhavantau Na Vismarami. Aham Na Vismarami. I did not forget. What did I not forget? Or whom did I not forget? You both. Bhavantau. I did not forget you both. Eshaha dash avadat. Under six, what do we have the word? Ka. In the pink box, look at number six, we have ka. In Dvitya Vibhakti, what does it become? Kaam. 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 So, Eshaha kaam vadati. So, Eshaha vadati. Okay, kaam vadati. What did she tell? And here kaam, the Strilinga Prayoga. Indicates that whatever she told also is a Strilinga Padam. Vartam Sa or Eshaha. Oh, Eshaha, right? So he. Eshaha Kaam, vada, kaam Avadat. Eshaha Vartam Avadat. He told the news. Okay? <clears throat> Varta is a uh, Strilinga Shabda. Since here Ka, the Strilinga interrogative word is used, we use we use a strilinga shabda only in the answer, like vata. And then kavayaha dash granthan ichanti. Number seven. What do we have under number seven? K kumlinga. Kumlinga also is mentioned. Why? Because K is also there in strilinga and napumsaka. Ka, K, kaha, kim, K, kani. So K is there in strilinga and kumlinga, napumsaka also. In, uh, in Pumlinga, it is Bahuvachana. Kaha kau ke. So Pumlinga is mentioned. So what will be the Dvitya Vipakti form of ke? In Pumlinga. Kaan. 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 Mm. So Kavayaha. Kaan Granthan Ichanti. What kind of Granthas? Okay. Or which Granthas? Instead of what kind, which Granthas do the poets like? Okay. If we want to say what kind of kidrishan it will become. Okay. So that is different. So Khan Granthan. What books or what Granthas will they like? Do they like? Devaha dash rakshati. Eighth sentence. So number eight. We have Vayam under number eight. So Vayam in Dvitya Vibhakti will become? Asman. 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 Hmm. So, Devaha Asman Rakshati. Devaha Rakshati. The God will protect. Whom will the God protect? Az. Asman. Okay. He will protect Az. Saha dash Gudam Khadishyati. Okay. Gudam. Here, this is sentence 9. In uh, under 9, we have Sarvaha. Okay. Sarvam. Sarvam Gudam Khadishyati. Saha. Sarvam Gudam Khadishyati. Guda is uh, jaggery. Okay. So, so he ate all of the jaggery. Okay. So Saha Sarvam Gudam Khadishyati. Or he will eat. Khadishyati is used in uh, Bhavishyat Kala. So will. He will eat all of the Guda. So why don't you hide it? Okay. So that will be the next sentence. Okay. Uh, tenth sentence. Bhavan dash vyavastham karotu. In the tenth... Uh, Sarvam. Uh, sarva. So vyavastha. Akaranta strilinga shabda. Bhavan sarvam vyavastham karotu. Okay. May you do all the arrangements kind of. Like vyavastha means... Um, uh, it is like kind of an establishment, more, more, more of an establishment, Vyavastha. So you do all of that establishment. In that sense, it is used. Kukkuraha dash roti ke akhadat. 11. Under 11, what do we have? Ete. And Strilinga. It is mentioned that it is Strilinga. So Ete. 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 Ah, it Ete. will remain as Ete. 
सो कुकुर एते रोटिके अखादत कुकुर मीन्स हेन ओके और कॉक बिकॉज इट इज मैस्क्युलाइन इट इज अ कॉक सो द कॉक एट कुकुर अखादत किम अखादत के रोटिके एते रोटिके एते इज गिवन सो एते रोटिके दीज टू रोटीस द कुकुर एट जनक डैश पालयति अंडर ट्वेल वी हैव विल रिमेन पुम्लिंग द्विवचन सो जनक पालयति द फादर रूल्स और नॉट रूल्स पालयति इज टू रेज और रियर आल्सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट बिकॉज एत इज गिवेन सो द जनक रेस्ड दम बोथ ओके और दीज बोथ एत If देशः is given, जनकः देशम पालयति, then that is ruling, that comes under ruling. So पालयति can be taken as ruling or raising, like raising kids. In both senses we can use पालयति depending on the context. Uyam dash samyak janeth thirteen. Etah is given. In Dvitiya Vibhakti, what does etah become? Etah. It will remain as etaha. Streaming a shabda, so it will remain as etaha. You yam etaha samyak jani tha. You you yam means you all. You all know very well. What do they know or whom do they know? Etaha. All these ladies. Okay, etaha indicates a streaming a. So all these girls or all these ladies. So you all know all these ladies very well. Vayam dash pasyama ha. Fourteen, yuvam is given. Yuvam is yushmat shabda. Yushmat. It will remain as yuvam. Okay. So vayam yuvam pasyama ha. Vayam pasyama ha. We all are seeing. What are we seeing or whom are we seeing? Yuvam means you both. We all are watching you both. Adhivakta dash prachati. Fifteen. What do we have in fifteen? Yuvam. What does U M become in Dvitiya uh, Vibhakti? Yushman. Yushman. So Adhivakta Yushman Prachati. So the Adhivakta means the speaker will ask or is uh, asks you all Yushman. Okay, he will ask you all. Adhivakta means the speaker. Okay. Ten days of day. Okay. That's the best part. Okay, so adhivakta is rikaranta vaktru shabda. Okay, it is a rikaranta shabda. That is why uh, vakta like pita. Don't uh, confuse it with akaranta strilinga shabda like sita. It is not strilinga shabda. It is pumlinga only rikaranta like vaktru pitru in that sense. Okay. Okay. Then moving on to the next page, page number one zero four. एतानि वाक्यानि शांति फिलोसॉफिकल टेक्स्टीच दू मोक्ष There are several paths to moksha. There is not one single path. There are several paths. We are, you know, so many people are there. Everybody's philosophy can be a little different. Your philosophy need not be exactly the same as my philosophy. So, depending on uh, <clears throat> the thinking, um, you know, different uh, groups um, have formed. Some uh, are called sankhyas. Some are, some of them are called yoga. uh you know they follow the yoga darshana uh, some of them follow the nyaya darshana and some of them follow the uh vaisheshika 
Purva Mimamsa, Uttara Mimamsa. Like this, we have six Astika Darshanas. We discussed this, uh, I think, a few classes behind, um, a few classes back. So Sankhya and Yoga, these uh, theories are very close. Okay, their concept is very close. So this person, Saha, okay, Sankhyam Yogam Cha Ekam Pashyati. He looks at Sankhya and Yoga as one. That is the meaning of the sentence here. So he is looking at Yoga and Sankhya. So the action of looking is being done on Sankhya and Yoga. That is why those are in Vidya Vibha. So Sankhya is uh, uh, there as a Pumlinga Shapta as well as a Napumsaka Linga Shapta. Whether you take it as Pumlinga or Napumsaka, it will be Sankhyam only. In Dvitya Vibhakti Ekavachanam, it will be Sankhyam only. Now, Yoga is in Pumlinga only. So, Yoga, ha. in Dvitya Vibhakti, it becomes Yoga. Okay? And then we have Shraddhavan Jnanam Prapnoti. Jnanam Prapnoti. So, he obtains Jnanam. Who? Shraddhavan. One who is one who has Shraddha. Shraddha means focus, dedication and all that. Okay. Um, so, Jnanam Prapnoti. Here, Jnanam is the word which is in the Karma Padam. It is in Vidya Vibhakti. Jnanam is a Napumsaka Linga Shaktam. So, like Vanam. So, Vanam Vane Vanani, Vanam Vane Vanani. Like that Jnanam Jnane Jnanani. Like that. Okay. Kiriti Krishnam Aha. Aha means to speak. So, Kiriti. Kiriti, you can refer to anyone who wears a Kiritam as a Kiriti. But I don't know if there is any particular person who is normally referred to as Kiriti. Krishnam Aha. This Kiriti, this person. Kiriti is Arjuna. Is Arjuna. Yeah. Here, like in this context, we can take as um, Arjuna. But uh, normally, meaning-wise, if we go, Kiriti is anyone who wears a Kiritam can be referred to as a Kiriti. Um, in one shloka, we also have Vishnumurti being referred to as Kiriti. Kiriti, mm. because Krishna, Kindak Nukkadu, then Bana is Kapu Talati Sekunda, Krishna Radhan Nukkadala, then Kiritam Bhutundi. Okay. I am not able to recollect it. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. Ah, that is fine, that is fine. I am sure it uh, mostly, like, like I am saying, uh, certain words, though they mean um, um, meaning-wise, language-wise, they can mean any person who is wearing uh, Kiritam. But uh, but uh, most commonly, Arjuna is referred to as Kiriti, like you said. Uh, but normally, if you are looking only at the meaning-wise, any person who wears a Kiritam can be referred to as a Kiriti. So, Krishnam okay. Aha. So, this person, Kiriti, speaks to Krishna. So, that action of speaking is done on Krishna. So, Krishna becomes the Karma Padam here. It becomes Krishnam. Okay? In Dvitya Vibhakti. Bhaktaha Sangam Tyajati. Okay, Sangam means association. Bhaktaha Tyajati, he gives up. The devotee gives up. What does he give up? Association, Sangam. Association with the world, basically. The materialistic world. Saha Padmanabham Archati. So Padmanabha is Vishnumurti. So Saha Archati, he worships. Whom does he worship? Padmanabham, Dvitya Vibhakti. <clears throat> Satvikaha Swargam Gachati. So Satvikaha, he who follows the Sanmarga. Okay. Satvikaha. Swargam Gachati. Swargaha. Uh, actually, Swargam is both in Pumlinga and Napumsaka. So Swargaha is there and Swargam is there. We can use uh, anything. Tamasaha Narakam Gachati. Narakam. Narakaha is a Akaranta Pumlinga Shabda. So, tamasaha narakam gachati. In Dvitya Vibhakti, it becomes narakam. Tamasaha gachati. Kutra gachati narakam gachati. Tamasaha means uh, tamasika swabhava. He who has tamasika swabhava. Like if you want to understand who normally has tamasika swabhava, like Kumbhakarna. He has a lot of tamasika swabhava. That is why he sleeps so much. Okay. 
Kavihi Chandram Pashyati. Okay, Chandram. Again, Chandraha is there, Chandram is there. It is in Kumlinga and Napunsaka. So, Kavihi Pashyati. The poet sees. What does he see? The moon, Chandram. Okay. So, that is with these sentences. <clears throat> and then next one. Rekhankita Padanam Adharena Prashna Nirmanam Puruta. So, um, we have to frame a, uh, a question based on the sentence that is given. And the word that is underlined should be replaced with the interrogative word. Okay. Like Dushyantaha uh, Shakuntalam Vismarati. So the question will be Dushyantaha Kam Vismarati. Kam. Why Shakuntala is Strilinga Shabda. So the interrogative word also should be in Strilinga, which is Ka. In Dvitya Vibhakti, it becomes Kam. Why? Because the action of Vismarati, forgetting, is done on Shakuntala. So Shakuntala becomes the Karmapadam here. So it has to be in Dvitya Vibhakti. The in interrogative word referring to her also should be in Dvitya Vibhakti. So Dushyantaha Kam Vismarati. Okay. Next, Sindhu Bhagini, would you like to say the next one? Vayam Bandhun Smaramaha. Vayam, vayam Bandhun Smaramaha. Uh, vayam uh, Kam Smaramaha. Bandhun Bahuvachane Asti. Oh, Kau Smaramaha. Kau is Dvivachanam. Okay. Okay. Ah, ah, Whom did we remember? Bandhun smaramaha. We remembered the relatives. Anantaram uh, Suchitra Bhagini Kapayaha Palani Kaganti. Kapayaha. Um, kani Kani Kayan. Kadanti Uttamam. Kapayaha Kani Kadanti. What did the monkey see? Uttamam. Anantaram Jaya Bhagini Mahila Shatike Krenati. Mahila Kani Krenati. Kani va Shatike. Shatike. Ulingam was three lingam. Shatike. Shatika Akaranta Strilinga Shabda Dvivachane Asti Shatike is in Dvivachana here. Ah. Oh, so Prashnavachaka Prashnavachaka Shabdaha Kim Bhavishati Mahila Kam hmm. Prenati Kam Ekavachana Rupam Ramana Dvivachana Shatike Dvivachane Asti Okay oh, ah, Mahila K Krinati Shati ke krinati. Mm. Uttama. Anantaram. Pramila bhagini. Bhavan bhojanam parivesha yati. Bhavan kim parivesha yati. Bhavan kim parivesha yati. Uttama. Bhojanam atra. Napumsaka linga shabdaha. Ataha kim. Uttama. Anantaram. Bhavana bhagini. Shikshakaha tam bodha yati. Shikshakaha kam bodhayati. Hmm, uttamam. Tam pumlinga shabdahasti. Ataha kam. Prashnavachaka shabdam. Kam bhavishyati. Shikshakaha kam bodhayati. Whom did the shikshakaha teach? He taught him. Shikshakaha teaches him. Anantaram. Uh, Vishwanath Mahodaya. Tau ikshum khadataha. <coughs> One minute, madam. Oh, Ikshum Kadataha. Page number one zero four. Tum Ikshum Kadataha. Ikshum Mantin Tendi. Ah, Cheruku. Cheruku. Ikshuhu Shabdaha. Ikshu. Prathama Vibhakti Ekavachana Rupam Ikshuhu. So they okay. each of them lag on the Ikshuhu and a Guruhu. Guruhu. 
ukaranta pumlinga shabdaha so don't worry about the anta whether it is pumlingam va strilingam va napumsaka lingam va this is what we need to decide which uh, interrogative word to use so we know it is a pumlinga shabda so pumlingam lo prashna vachaka shabda ela vastundi kaha kau ke in prathama vibhakti but we have to put it in dvitiya vibhakti so kaha ek vachana kam 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 pumlinge kam strilinge kam okay strilinge hmm. so tau kam khadataha you both or they both what did they eat okay tau they both they both are eating uh-huh. what are they eating kam khadataha okay eat. like that నెక్స్ట్ ఇది కూడా చెప్పండి మీరే భవత్య చింతయంతి ఏకవచనంలో చెప్పారు ఇక్కడ కథాహ బహువచనంలో ఉంది కాబట్టి ప్రశ్నవాచకం కూడా మనం అదే వచనంలో పెట్టాలి ఇక్కడ బహువచనంలో ఇచ్చారు కాబట్టి కాహ భవత్య కాహ చింతయ చింతయంతి వాట్ ఆర్ యు ఆల్ థింకింగ్ ఓకే కథాహ చింతయంతి సో దే ఆర్ థింకింగ్ ఆఫ్ సమ్ స్టోరీస్ లైక్ వాట్ స్టోరీస్ టు టెల్ ఆర్ వాట్ స్టోరీస్ టు రీడ్ వాట్ స్టోరీస్ టు రైట్ థింకింగ్ కెన్ బి అబౌట్ ఎనీథింగ్ బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిలేటెడ్ టు కథాహ ఓకే ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ఉపరితన వాక్యేషు కర్మణ వచనానుగుణం ప్రశ్నాహ దత్తాహ సంతి కింతు సామాన్య వ్యవహారే ఏం ప్రయోగాహ దృశ్యంతే కిం ఖాదతి కిం రచయతి కిం నిర్మాతి కిం దాతి కిం ప్రాప్నోతి కుత్ర గచ్చతి ఓకే సో వాట్ ఈస్ హీ సేయింగ్ ఈస్ ఇన్ ద అబవ్ సెంటెన్సెస్ ఉపరితన వాక్యేషు కర్మణ మీన్స్ ద కర్మ పదంస్ వచనానుగుణం ప్రశ్నాహ దత్తాహ సంతి ఓకే సో వచనానుగుణం మీన్స్ ఏకవచన ఆర్ ద్వివచన ఆర్ బహువచన బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దట్ అకార్డింగ్ టు దట్ ద ద క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ ఓకే కింతు సామాన్య వ్యవహారే ఇన్ డైలీ యూసేజ్ ఓకే సామాన్య వ్యవహారే ఏం ప్రయోగాహ దృశ్యంతి వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ద ప్రయోగ మీన్స్ లైక్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ కామన్లీ యూస్డ్ ఓకే కిం ఖాదతి కిం రచయతి సో నార్మల్లీ హౌ ద సెంటెన్సెస్ ఆర్ యూస్ ద ప్రశ్నవాచక శబ్ద మోస్ట్లీ యూ యూస్ కిమ్ ఓన్ ఇఫ్ యూ డోంట్ నో ఇన్ పర్టికులర్ రైట్ వాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ హీ సేయింగ్ ఈస్ టెక్నికల్లీ వీ ఫాలో ద వచన అండ్ ద లింగ ఆఫ్ ద నౌన్ వెన్ వీ ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ ద ప్రశ్నవాచక బట్ ఇన్ డైలీ నార్మల్ యూసేజ్ we simply use kim many times but if you know the answer definitely and the linga of that then it is always ideal to put the prashna vachaka shabda also in that vachana and in that linga okay um, but if you don't know anything then kim is fine in daily casual uh, usage kim is fine but it will be nice if we are able to put it in following the linga and the vachana of the final answer if we have an idea about it okay okay etam shlokam uchchaihi pathata ramam skandam hanumantam vainateyam vrikodaram shayane yah smaren nityam dukha svapnah tasya nashyati okay ramam skandam hanumantam vainateyam vrikodaram these are people you know rama we know rama we know skanda who is skanda ah uh, kumaraswami kartikeya kartikeya kumaraswami parvati second son hanumantam means hanuman vainateyam who is vainateya garuda garuda yes vrikodaram who is vrikodara bhema bhemudu kada yes yes so whoever thinks of all these five people shayane before sleeping 
Shayane Yaha Smarain Nityam. Okay. He who uh, remembers these people, he who remembers Rama, Skanda, Hanuman, Vainateya, and Brikodara, to him, Dukkha Swapnaha na, Nashyati. To him, there will not be any bad dreams. <clears throat> so here, Ramam, Skandam, Hanumantam, Vainateyam, Brikodaram, these are all in Dvidya Vibhati. Okay. Brikodaram Yahasmarati Tasya Dusvapnam Nashyati. Okay. Ataniki Ikra. Here, Tasya is used in Shashti Vibhati. To him. Okay. In English, when I say it will become to him, it is not clear. The Shashti Vibhakti usage is not clear. But in Telugu, it is very uh, easy to relate. Ataniki. Okay, kin kun yokka loan lopalan shashti vipakti. So ki is used in shashti vipakti as well as in vitya vipakti also. So again, you should be able to differentiate between them. It is used in shashti vipakti. Okay, ataniki dusvapnam radu. Okay, like that. Another shloka is there. Shanta karam bhujaga shayanam padmanabham suresham. Okay, that shloka also. In that shloka also, all these words are in Dhritya Vibhakti. Okay, another one. Shuklam, Varadharam, Vishnum, Shashivarnam, Chatur Bhujam. Hmm. So, Chatur Bhujaha is a person who has four arms. Chatur Bhujam. Ante, him who has four arms, I meditate upon him. Okay, like that. Prasanna Vadanam. He who has... Um, a pleasant face. Him I worship. Okay. So Shuklam, Varadharam, Vishnum, Sheshivarnam, Chaturpujam, Prasanna, Vadanam, Dhyayet, Sarva, Vignopa, Shanti. That is different. But all these first words are in Dvitya Vibhakti. Like that, you can relate. Okay. Upon him, we meditate. Him, we ask. Him, we take refuge in. Like that. Okay. In uh, most of the shlokas, you have uh, uh, Dvitiya Vibhakti and uh, Chaturthi Vibhakti mostly. Okay. So here on, when you are uh, reciting any shlokas, you can observe in which Vibhaktis they are. Okay. At least the, the three Vibhaktis that we have studied so far, you will be able to identify. Okay. So the meaning of that shloka is again given uh, beneath. Yaha Shayana Samaye. Ramam Kartikeyam Hanumantam Garudam Bhimam Chasmarati Tasya Dukkha Svapnaha Nabhavanti. Okay. Okay. So next we have Ubhayataha Paritaha Vina Ityadinam Yoge Dhritiya. <clears throat> so I told you with every Vibhakti, there will be one basic. Uh, scenario where we use it and then there are other times where we use. So here Dvitya Vipakti is primarily used uh, in a Kartari Prayoga Vakya when the Karmapadam, if the Karmapadam is there, then that Karmapadam should be in Dvitya Vipakti. That is the basic rule uh, or the most primary um, case where we use Dvitya Vipakti. There are other places where we use Dvitya Vipakti. When when we use the words Ubhayataha, Paritaha, Vina, okay, when we use the such words, the words associated with these special words should be in Dvitya Vipakti. Say, for example, Ubhayataha means on both sides. Okay, both sides of what? Both sides of the thief. There are police, if we want to say that. So, Choraha. Choraha is in Prathama Ekavachana. Choram Ubhayataha. Because on both sides of the thief, that is what I am trying to say. So here Ubhayataha refers to the thief. On both sides of the thief, police are there. Arakshakaha Santi. Choram Ubhayataha Arakshakaha Santi. So here Choraha is, in, uh, is used in Dvitya Vibhakti only because the Ubhayataha word is used. Okay. Only because the Ubhayataha word is used, Choraha is uh, put in Dvitya Vibhakti. Similarly, Paritaha means around. Okay. Devam Paritaha Mahilaha Upavishanti. Devam Paritaha around the God. 
So here paritaha is used with reference to devaha. Okay, around the God we are saying. So devaha will be in dvitiya vipakti because of the uh, word paritaha. If paritaha is not there, uh, devaha will not be in dvitiya vipakti. Okay, devasya, it will become shashti normally. Okay, uh, but because paritaha is used, devaha will become dvitiya vipakti. Devam paritaha bhaktaha upavishanti. The devotees sit around the God. Mahilaha upavishanti. The women sit around. Okay, and then we have vina, means without. Ramam vina, Sita aranyam na gachati. Without Rama, Sita does not go to the forest. Okay, here Vina is used with respect to Rama. Okay, without Rama. That is what we are trying to say. So, Ramam Vina. Rama is used in um, Dvitiya Vibhakti. Why? Because it is used along with the word Vina. Okay, so the usage of the words Ubhayataha, Paritaha and Vina instigate the words to be put in Dvitiya Vibhakti. If these words are not there, then the words would have been in a different vibhakti based on the context. Normally, it will be shashti vibhakti. Uh, but again, depending on the context and other factors, they can take other vibhaktis also. Okay. So, these are other places where dhritya vibhakti is used. <clears throat> so, let us look at uh, the example sentences. Yaga ashvam ubhayataha lava kushau staha. Lava kushau dvivachanam. So, staha is used. Asti, staha, santi. Asti, ekavachanam, santi, bahuvachanam. Staha, dvivachanam. Um, kau, staha, lavakushau, staha. Lavakushau, kutra, staha. Yagashvam, ubhayataha. On both sides of the yagashva, lavakusha are there. So, yagashvam is used in dvitya vipakti. Why? Because it is used along with ubhayataha. Abhimanyum paritaha maharathaha santi. Around Abhimanyu. Okay. Maharathaha santi. The great warriors are there. So since paritaha is used, Abhimanyu is put in Dvitya Vibhakti. Abhimanyum. This is Ukaranta Pumlinga Shabda like Guru Abhimanyu. Bhimaha kiritam vina tishtati. So kiritam vina. Without kiritam, he is standing. Okay, Bhimaha Kiritam Vina Tishtati. Because of the word Vina, Kirita is put in Dvitya Vipakti. Etani Vakyani Pathata. Margam Ubhayataha Vrikshaha Santi. On both sides of the road. Okay, Margaha. It is a Pumlinga Shapta. It is in Dvitya Vipakti. Why? Because of the usage of Ubhayataha. Utpitikam Ubhayataha Asandaha Santi. Utpitika table. On both sides of the table, chairs are there. Asandaha is a chair. Asandaha bahuvachanam. Utpitika akaranta strilinga shabda. So dvitya vibhaktau utpitikam it will become. Sharkaram paritaha pipilikaha agachanti. Around the sugar. Sharkara akaranta strilinga shabda. Dvitya vibhaktau sharkaram paritaha. Around the sugar. Ants are coming. Okay, pipilikaha agachanti. Deepam paritaha prakashaha asti. Deepam, deepaha. It is also a kumlinga shabda in dvitiya vipakti. It becomes deepam. Again, paritaha. Around the lamp, prakashaha asti. There is light or radiance. Acharyam paritaha shishyaha santi. Acharyam paritaha. Around the acharya, shishyaha santi. Students are there. Jalam vina jivanam na sambhavati. Jalam vina. Without water, uh, jivanam na sambhavati. Life will not happen. Sainikan vina desha rakshanam na bhavati. Without the soldiers. Bahuvachane. Okay, sainikaha. This is also akaranta pumlinga. So in dhritiya vibhakti bahuvachana, sainikan. Sainikan vina. Desha rakshanam na bhavati. Desha, desha rakshanam is not possible without the soldiers. Maharajam ubhayataha sainikaha chalanti. On both sides of the Maharaja, the soldiers are going. Okay, Maharajaha. It is also akaranta pumlinga shabda. If it is only Raja, then it is Rajan nakaranta shabda. Okay, 
but when we use it along with maha it becomes akaranta pumlinga shakta maharajah like ramah <clears throat> so maharajam ubhayatah sainikah chalanti bhavantam paritah ke santi bhavantam so bhavan becomes bhavantam so you it means you who are around you ke santi who are there around you paritah okay bhavantam paritah around you who are there mam vina bhagini vidyalayam na gacchati without me mam aham shabdah asmad shabdah aham becomes mam in dvitiya vibhakti mam vina without me bhagini vidyalayam na gacchati sister will not go to school so that is uh, that is those sentences and uh, we shall continue next week okay the rest of the exercise shall we continue next week it is 9 almost 9:30 few more minutes so we shall continue that next week okay anyone who would like to say the shanti mantra pramila bhagini ಸುಖಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತು ಮಾರ್ಗಸಿಭವೇ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಭಗಿನಿ ಸೊ ಪುನಃ ಆಗಾಮಿ ಸೋಮವಾರ ಸೋಮವಾಸರೆ ಮೇಲಿಷ್ಯಾಮ ಶುಭರಾತ್ರಿ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ನೂತನ ಸಂವತ್ಸರ ಶುಭಾಶಯ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಕದಾ ಅಂದಕನಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಯರ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಚಪಟ್ಲೇದಂಟಾರ ಫಾಲೋ ಅವತ್ನಾಂ ಕದ ಅಸಲ ತಪ್ಪೇಮಿ ಲೇದು ಏನೈನಾ ತಪ್ಪೇಮಿ ಲೇದು ಮಂಚಿದು ಎವರ್ದೈನಾ ತೀಸ್ಕೋವಚ್ಚು ಮಂಚಿದೆ